Good morning, folks. It's 9.47 a.m. on December 24th, 2019, Christmas Eve. And this is the Word for the Day, Part 1, December 24th, 2019. The Word for the Day, Part 1, December 24th, 2019. As I was listening to some worship music last night for about a solid hour, I believe, I've had some critical messages. And these messages are not to be taken lightly. These messages for everybody on the planet. I wish I could give you some good news today, but this news is very critical, very serious news. So just bear with me, and I'll try to get through as best I can for part one. Part two also has some more critical messages, so stay with me for that as well. So let's go right into the Word of God, and I will tell you what the Lord told me last night. On December 23rd, 2019, at 7.49 p.m., the word of the Lord came to me during some worship songs, during the worship I was giving him last night. This is his message. Why do you people oppress me so? Why do you defy me? Why will you not obey me? Why? I'll read this once again. Why do you people oppress me so? Why do you defy me? Why will you not obey me? Why? And I've got some supporting Bible verses, numerous ones, at least a dozen, to support this statement here that the Lord gave to me last night. So let's go over each one briefly, and I'll read them out, out loud individually, each Bible verse. Proverbs 14.31, Psalm 72.4, Proverbs 22 and 16, Zechariah 7 and 10, 1 Samuel 17 and 26, Numbers 23 and 8, Romans chapter 1 verse 5, Romans chapter 5 verse 9, Romans chapter 6 verse 16, Romans chapter 16 verse 19 and verse 26, 1 Corinthians 14 and 34, 2 Corinthians 7 and 15, Philemon chapter 1 verse 21, Hebrews chapter 5 verse 8, and finally, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 5 and 6. So let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 31. Proverbs 14 and 31. He who oppresses the poor reproaches his maker, but he who honors him has mercy on the needy. Psalm 72, verse 4. Psalm 72, verse 4. He will bring justice to the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy and will break in pieces the oppressor. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 16. Proverbs 22 and 16. He who oppresses the poor to increase his riches, and he who gives to the rich will surely come to poverty. Zechariah 7 and 10. Zechariah chapter 7, verse 10. Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the alien or the poor. Let none of you plan evil in his heart against his brother. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 26. 1 Samuel 17 and 26. Then David spoke to the men who stood by him, saying, What shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For this is, for who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Numbers chapter 23, verse 8. Numbers 23 and 8. How should I curse whom God has not cursed? And how shall I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? Romans Chapter 1, verse 5. Romans 1, 5. Through him we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. Romans chapter 5, verse 9. Romans 5 and 9. Much more than, having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Romans six and sixteen. Do you not know that whom do you know not do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey, you are that one slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death, or of obedience leading to righteousness. Romans chapter sixteen, verses nineteen and twenty six. Romans sixteen nineteen. For your obedience has become known to all, therefore I am glad on your behalf. But I want you to be wise in what is good 
and simple concerning evil. Romans 16 verses 26 But now made manifest and by the prophetic scriptures be made known to all nations according to all commandment of the everlasting God for obedience to the faith. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 34 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. Let your women keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak, but they are to be submissive, as the law also says. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 15. 2 Corinthians 7 and 15. And his affections are greater for you, as you remember the obedience of you all, how with fear and trembling you received him. Philemon chapter 1, verse 21. Philemon, chapter 1, verse 21. Having confidence in your obedience, I write to you knowing that you will do even more than I say. 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verses 5 and 6. 2 Corinthians 10, verses 5 and 6. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. The book of Hebrews, chapter 5, verse 8. Hebrews 5 and 8. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Okay, folks, the family next entered my journal at 7.52 p.m. during the worship of my God, during worship music on 12-23-19, that is, December 23rd, 2019, at 7.52 p.m. The word of the Lord comes to me once again, saying, Call out your demonic hordes now, if they can save you. See if your sorcerers, your soothsayers, your astrologers, your fortune tellers can save you now. I assure you they cannot. Once again, call out your demonic hordes now, if they can save you. See if your sorcerers, your soothsayers, your astrologers, your fortune tellers can save you now. I assure you they cannot. This is found in several books of the Bible. Isaiah 47 Verses 12 through 15, 1 Timothy 4 1, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, and 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 20 and 21, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 12, 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 4 through 10. So let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verses 12 through 15. Isaiah 47, 12 through 15. Stand now with your enchantments and the multitude of your sorceries, in which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you will be able to profit. Perhaps you will prevail. You are weird in the multitude of your counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly progn progn prognosticators stand up and save you. From what shall come upon you, behold, they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. It shall not be a coal to be warmed by, nor a fire to sit before. Thus shall they be to you, with whom you have labored, your merchants from your youth. They shall wander each to his quarter. No one shall save you. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 1 Timothy 4 and 1 Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11 2 Corinthians 2, 11 Lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 Whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 20 and 21. 1 Corinthians 10, 20 and 21. Rather that things, rather that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I do not want you to have fellowship with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of demons. Ephesians chapter six verse Ephesians chapter six verses ten through twelve. 
Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Finally, 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 4 through 10. 2 Peter 2, 4 through 10. For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, sinned but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved for judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but saved Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood on the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction, making them an example to those who afterward would live ungodly, and delivered righteous Lot, who was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them, tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. Then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment, and especially those who walk according to the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise authority. They are presumptuous, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignitaries. And yet there's more the Lord has to say about this. December 23rd, 2019, at 7.53 p.m., the word of the Lord comes to me once again. And here's what he has to say, folks. Very serious stuff. You people offend me, so, to the point of me vomiting you out of my mouth. I wish you were hot or cold, but you are neither just lukewarm. This is Jesus speaking. Once again, you people offend me, so, to the point of me vomiting you out of my mouth. I wish you were hot or cold, but you are neither just lukewarm. This is found in several books of the Bible. Revelation chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. Matthew eleven sixteen, Matthew 13, 57. John 15, 22. Matthew 15, 12. And Mark chapter 6, verse 3. So let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. Revelations 3, 15 and 16. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot, I wish you could be. I wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Matthew chapter eleven, verse sixteen. Matthew eleven sixteen. But to while shall I liken this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to their companions. The Gospel of Matthew chapter thirteen, verse fifty seven. Matthew thirteen and fifty seven. So they were offended at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country and his own house. John chapter 15, verse 22. The Gospel of John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 15, verse 12. Matthew 15 and 12. Then his disciples came and said to him, do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? The Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verse 3. Mark 6 and 3. Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters with us? So they were offended to him. The next entry in my journal, the word of the Lord comes in once again on December 23, 2019. 7.55 p.m. You would rather worship the creation rather than me, the creator of everything, of all. You would rather worship the creation rather than me, the creator of everything, of all. So this is found in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verses 25 through 28. Romans 1, 25 through 28. Who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, and worshiped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful, and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind, 
to do those things which are not fitting. Okay, folks, the last change in my journal during the worship music on December 23rd, 2019 at 7.56 p.m. The word of the Lord comes to me once again. Your attitude stinks. You offer your firstborn to Molech through abortions. Am I supposed to be impressed? Even the blood you shed cries out to me now. You will certainly pay for your mistakes soon if you don't repent now. Once again, the word of the Lord comes to me, saying, Your attitude stinks. You offer your firstborn to Molech through abortions. Am I supposed to be impressed? Even the blood you shed cries out to me now. You will certainly pay for your mistakes soon if you don't repent now. This is found in several books of the Bible. Psalm 106, 37-38. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 21. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 31. Leviticus chapter 20, verses 1 through 5. Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 20 through 21. 2 Kings chapter 17, verses 17 and 18. 2 Kings chapter 21, verses 2 through 6. Psalm 106, verses 37 through 38. And finally, Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 30 through 34. So let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalm 106, verses 37 and 38. Psalm 106, 37, 38. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons and shed innocent blood. The blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted, and the land was polluted with blood. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 21. Leviticus 18, 21. And you, and you shall not let any of your descendants pass through the fire to Molech, nor shall you profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 31. Deuteronomy 12 and 31. You shall not worship the Lord your God in that way. For every abomination to the Lord, which he hates, they have done to their gods. For they burn even their sons and daughters in the fire to their gods. Leviticus chapter 20, verses 1 through 5. Leviticus 20, 1 through 5. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Again you shall say, to the children of Israel, whoever the children of Israel, or of the strangers who dwell in Israel, who gives any of his descendants to Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of this land, the people of the land shall stone him with stones. And I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from his people, because he has given some of his descendants to Molech, to defile my sanctuary and profane my holy name. And if the people of the land should anyway hide their eyes from the man, and he gives some of his descendants to Molech, and did he not kill him? That I will set my face against that man and against his family, and I will cut him off of his people, and all who prostitute themselves with him to commit, to commit harlotry with Molech. Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 20 and 21. Ezekiel 16, 20 and 21. Moreover, you took your sons and your daughters, whom you bore to me, and these you sacrificed to them to be devoured. For your acts of were your acts of harlotry a small matter, that you have slain my children and offered them up to them by causing them to pass through the fire? The book of Second Kings, chapter 17, verses 17 and 18. Second Kings 17, 17 and 18. And they caused their sons and daughters to pass through the fire, practice witchcraft, and soothsaying, and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel, and remove them from his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah alone. Second Kings, chapter 21, verses 2 through 6. Second Kings, 21, 2 through 6. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to the abominations of the nations, whom the Lord has cast out before the children of Israel. For he rebuilt the high places, which Hezekiah his father destroyed. He raised up altars for Baal, and made a wooden image, as Ahab king of Israel has done. And he worshipped all the hosts of heaven, and served them. He also built altars in the house of the Lord, of which the Lord had said in Jerusalem, I will put my name. And he built altars for all the hosts of heaven in the two courts of the house of the Lord. Also he made his son pass through the fire, practiced soothsaying, used witchcraft, and consulted spiritualists and mediums. He did much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. Psalm 106, verses 37 and 38. Once again, Psalm 106, 37 and 38. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons and shed innocent blood. The blood of their sons and daughters 
and their sacrifice to the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with their blood. Finally, Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 30 through 34. Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 30 through 34. For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight, says the Lord. They have set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to pollute it. And they have built the high place of the Topheth, which is in the valley of son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and daughters in the fire, which I did not command, nor did it come into my heart. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when it will no more be called Tophet, or the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter, for they will bury in Tophet until there is no room. The corpses of this people will be food for the birds of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth, and no one will frighten them away. Therefore, I will call, then I will cause to cease from the cities of Judah, and from the streets of Jerusalem, the voice of the mirth, and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, for the land shall be desolate. Okay, folks and family, that's the word for day part one for December 24, 2019. The word for day part one, December 24, 2019. I'm sorry that I have to give these messages, but these messages are very critical and very serious. So take them to heart. Pass these messages out to these people, if you can, to everybody you meet. I thank you very much for your time today. I wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a brand Happy Brand New Year. God bless you all. God bless you all and everything you do. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming. He is the reason why we're celebrating his birth this year. Not for presents or commercialization or giving up gifts or drinking and eating and making merry. The reason why we have Christmas is because of his birth. That's why we celebrate it. Okay, folks, take care of yourselves. I love you all very much. And stay tuned for part two for the word today. Part two, there's more, there's more messages from the Lord coming after this video. I love you all very much. Take care of yourselves. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye for now.